So when we deal with the scriptures, y'all, follow me, follow me. Now. You don't read the Bible and get knowledge and wisdom. You read the Bible to find out what God will do at the appointed time that nobody knew about. But we have picked the book up and said what God did. You know, the only thing that book tell us what God did was hide its face. That means hide its image. And then at the appointed time, God was going to reveal his image. That's what the whole book about. So when we read scriptures like this, we think it's a second coming. No. Revelation 1 and 7 is all about the will. I'm finna prove it. It say, behold, he coming with clouds. It's not Dragon Ball Z, and I'm not Goku. So he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Now, a man that come in the sky right now, everybody won't see a man. Everybody don't see the sun, because right now it's, 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 it's morning time. Other places it's nighttime. So some people not seeing the sun. I'm seeing the sun. Some people not. So there's no way a man can literally come in the sky and everybody sees him. It's not. So it says, and they also which pierced him. So the people that pierced him going to also see him. But why? Because what? He's a son of man. So when they first seen this son of man and this son of man revealed to them, you know, who he is, they said he wasn't who he is. So what they did, they refuted his information. They denied his information. They stole his information. They backstabbed him. They pierced him. You know why we say, man, you killing me softly? You know, this is what they did to the son of man. Now, all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Now, why, why would, if Christ coming from the sky, will, will we not be rejoicing? Why is we wailing? Because the same one that everybody denied, the same one that everybody rejected, is now being crowned king of kings. Because the witnesses have lifted him up. So now everybody sees him. But when he was just on the earth in his slain form, didn't nobody see him. He was just what? I say it all the time. He was just the N-word talking. Just another one talking. But once he's raised to his glory, everybody going to see a son of man being crowned king of kings. Breaking news. Everybody going to see. But everybody cannot see a man coming out the sky. So let me give you a precept to this verse. I'm going to the Old Testament. Remember, no matter what book you're in, you're only reading what God will do. You are not reading what God did. So let's go to another will of God. Follow me. Now, this, this, this is a cold verse right here, y'all. Because I remember, at first you're going to reject the Son of Man, but then you're going to have to come back and apologize to the Son of Man. It's the will of God. Now, if we go to Zechariah, remember, no matter what book you're in, you're reading the will. So we're in Zechariah, we're finna read the will. Not the word, and not what have already happened. So it says, And I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplications. Supplication is saying, I'm sorry. It says, And they shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. They shall look upon me, whom they have pierced. What we just read in Revelation, even those that pierced him, and they shall mourn for him. Revelation said, well, welling and mourning is the same thing, because you're going to be saying, oh, man, I didn't know, brother. I didn't know, man. I didn't know it was you. That's welling and mourning. As one for his only son. Now, remember, Christ is the only person that God anoints. Christ anoints everyone else. It's God's will. Not my will, not your will, but God's will. So the only son, and she'll be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for a firstborn. So we see this is the same scripture that's in what? Revelation that I just read, Revelation 1 and 7. The bitterness, the mourning, 
And this is why Moses talk about the evenings and mornings. But we now I'm not going to go in there because I ain't got that much time on this video. So this this is proof that the Bible is the will of God. It's not what God already did. It's about what God going to do at the appointed time. But we have been lost in translation because of the false counsels that's coming from people who don't know what God will is. And God's will is revealed to you by Christ. That's God's will. But see, we didn't let Christ reveal it to us. We let the book, we let man. So now when Christ show up, you're going to pierce him. And when he be raised up, you're going to mourn because it don't fit the imaginations in your mind. So you're going to have to look to the same person you pierce. Let me go back to Revelation. So do we see what? You see, the, they pierced him. You see, they pierced him. Now let's go back to Zechariah. They pierced him. So you must understand. So you must understand what? Whom they have pierced. So how can Zechariah and Revelations be the same thing if Christ fulfilled the old and now this is the second coming? When you talk about the second coming, y'all, you are talking about God redeeming us a second time. Because God sent prophets to redeem us, which represent the Moses, to get us out of Egypt, which is out of worship. But what they did to the prophets, as the Bible tell you, they rejected the prophets. They killed the prophets. So now this is God returning a second time. But how does God return? Through a living vessel. So it's not about the person. It's about God. You don't reject me. You reject the one that sent me. These things we must understand. So we got this character thing that's coming back. Well, no, it's about God coming back. And we don't even realize how God come back. We think God come cracking the sky. God don't change. God ain't never cracked the sky and came down and talked to people. Never happened. God always manifests the spirit in a living vessel. And that living vessel spoke on behalf of God. That's what's going on right now. And everybody that appears, the one that God has chose, will mourn and well because of him. And that's what we see, a bunch of mourning and welling. So I hope you got the message, y'all. Peace. I'm out.